Good day, everybody. This is MassX with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And we're going to go into part two now and talk about some of these SSR pluses. We talked about how you're going to get them. Now we're going to talk about the first six months. If they follow what they've done with the other servers, this is what it will look like. So let's say anniversary occurs in September and let's say they start SSR pluses in October or November. So what's going to happen? Well, the first banner should be Awaken Child Emperor. Awaken Bakuzan has been released on the other servers as free. So the hope is that we would get that character for free or in some other way besides a banner. So you can't count that him. So what that leaves for us after Awaken Child Emperor is then Boros, CK, Metal Bat, King, and then Garu. That would be the first six months for planning purposes. So who out of this is the most important? Well, honestly, there's two that are heads and tails above everybody else. That's CK and Metal Bat. CK is a grappler monster, of course. Out of control, follow up, damage, reflection. The SSR Plus version of CK, the attack attacks a single target with five consecutive strikes that deal damage by 100% of attack plus 25% max HP. Chaos Dancer, the ultimate, deals 100% attack damage to a single target, grants charge damage by 35% max HP, then triggers out of control for this round, launches ultimate follow-up against enemies after their action, 100% damage and effective ultimate skill, no cost up to two times per round. His passive, Upon taking damage or being defeated, reflects 50% damage received back onto four random enemies. Only one effect of the same type is effective throughout the entire battle, including all tenacity effects and HP consumption effects. And the Awaken passive for him when battle begins increases his max HP by 25% quadruples the max HP boost effect on himself and recovers HP by 50%. The character is a monster. When he was originally released on the first time this game came out, they had to nerf him and even after they nerfed him, he was a monster. This character is an absolute juggernaut on the field and an essential SSR plus to get. In addition, you're going to need the keepsake with him, but it's going to be well worth it. Now, let's talk about the counterpart Metal Bat. Duelist, Hero, Stun Immunity, Constant Follow-Up, Specialized Reborn. The attack attacks a single target with three consecutive strikes for 150% of attack. The ultimate launches consecutive follow-ups against the main target and two enemies with lowest HP. When there are less than two remaining, enemies will suffer combo attacks. Each target will take three consecutive strikes that deal damage by 120% of attack. Grants also charge damage by 380% of attack. His passive permanently grants immunity against stun. To other allies in his row, grants immunity against extra damage to himself from round three. And his Awaken passive, Triggers Reborn, after taking fatal damage, recovers 40% HP before action, or when all allies are defeated up to three times, after triggering Reborn, launches consecutive follow-up, damage and effect of ultimate skill against one enemy with the lowest HP. And he is another flippin' monster on the field. And again, like I said, with CK, another one that is definitely gonna require the keepsake. But we'll get more into the keepsakes in different videos because there's gonna be different keepsakes that you're gonna care about. But with these characters, 
Oh hell yeah, you're gonna care about them. Now, you're probably wondering though, what about the other ones? Well, again, this is gonna be based on how you want to approach your teams and, your, and who you want to use, whether you're free to play, etc. Those two, Awaken CK and Metal Bat, are prime, prime ones to get if you're not gonna get anybody else. Garu is super close to those two. Everybody else is not essential. Bakuzan is not essential. Um, Child Emperor is not essential. Boros is not essential. And King is definitely not essential. Now again, they're good characters and it's gonna matter what the makeup of your teams are and what your dynamic is going to be and what you're gonna try to do. But on your face, if you were going to say you can only pick two of these, it's going to be CK Metal Bat with Garou in the close third. But I wanted to really focus on CK and Metal Bat today because they do have an insane importance with the metas coming in SSR Pluses. They give you the ability to beat higher level teams if they're built well if you put the resources into them, and if you build a strong team around them. They give you the push that most players at the free-to-play light spending level want to be competitive, and that's why they're so important. Again, that doesn't discount anybody else. I actually am a big fan of Child Emperor. We'll talk about that one in another video. Garu is incredibly important too. Everybody else, Good, solid characters, but not necessities. To me, it's going to be CK Metal Bat all the way. Alrighty, with that, that's our next video and in our SSR Plus discussions. So now, this is the second one down. We're going to go ahead and get more into the characters in the first six months, because that's where the primary focus is going to be as well as the keepsakes and some other things to consider when building teams. Alrighty, please as always like and subscribe, it helps so much, have a great day.